What's going on, everybody? This is Jesse Steele. And Tierra Lauderdale. And we are The Artist Life. And today we're going to talk about our top 10 favorite artists, ones that have inspired us along the way, they influenced us, and we follow constantly. So here we go. So here we go. So. Number one. You want to go first? Okay, I'll go first. Uh, number one, one of my favorite artists is Sarah Fable. She's a tattoo artist. Sarah Fable. <laughs> She's also a model. Um, I believe she's out in California currently. We'll also put her link and her Instagram up. She sells a lot of great pieces, a lot of anatomy, a lot of skulls, a lot of animals. I love her art. I'm greatly influenced by it. A lot of my work is also, obviously I'm not copying her, but um, I do have, I guess, an influence. an influence of it. I do like to draw a lot of skulls myself, a lot of anatomy. Um, I know that she does a lot of uh, uh, cross hatching and stuff, it seems like. Mm -hmm. um, and she also does a lot of digital work as well, but um, I do a lot of stifling and um, what's it called? Pointillism. Pointillism. Mm -hmm. Not only that, though, she like uses a lot of her, and she'll draw it, and then she uses Photoshop to kind of clean it up really good, which is a lot of artists these days, they like to use that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's definitely something that everyone should really be into is if you're not going to learn complete digital art, you at least got to master Photoshop in a way to make your prints look really cl yeah, clean that's true. and your artwork looks really, really clean. Yeah, her artwork is really clean. I'm, I'm jealous of it, but um, it's really good. It is really good. So that's Sarah Fable. We'll throw it in the link below and um, show you some pictures along the way. Like, that would be Arts 2. Would be, two. Um, Will Terry. Will Terry is a uh, children's book artist. What makes him really cool is the fact that he could really bring a viewer into the book itself. And, you know, since he's such a good children's book illustrator, it's kind of interesting how he puts together all his characters, his concepts, and the way that he brings the foreground and the background and, like, really brings the viewer's eyes into it. Not to mention all the different colors and saturations. And he really likes to play with contrast colors and uses, like, a really good pastel kind of palette. He highlights certain areas that really bring you into it. I know that's kind of like, oh, it's a basic term that artists like to do, but it's like the way that he does it and uh, adds those certain kind of textures like scales to alligators or scales to dragons and stuff like that. It's very poppy-like almost, and it's really cool like that. So he's one of mine that I like to follow. I actually saw his work on Google one time, and I just kept following his Facebook and his Instagram, and I actually got a chance to talk with them and talk to him about how to create a children's book. So myself, I'm trying to work on one as well, but it's really nice to know that there's people out there that are already, you know, he's probably got about five or six other books already completely and like done and everything and finalized and polished. And it's kind of interesting to think that I could reach out to somebody like that. And he actually gives me good artist information. So if you're looking for somebody friendly, good guy. And uh, so that makes number two. Number three, I guess we could say we both kind of like. Glenn Arthur. Glenn, Glenn Arthur, he's a very good artist. I love his pieces. They're yes. so colorful. He does a lot of themed work as well, like for Halloween especially. Uh, hummingbirds mm -hmm. in his pieces, I believe that's um, his thing. That's his niche that yeah. he adds to his artwork. He also likes drawing a lot like females. Succulents and, and females. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're very, very pretty pieces. Mm -hmm. But a lot of his pieces are on wood. Yeah. And I don't believe you can buy prints of his work yet maybe but again you're gonna have to check out his bio um but i do believe that you can buy and purchase his originals mm -hmm. Definitely so check him out number four number four is a guy by the name of keith goodson he's one of my personal favorite artists and a lot of people probably don't know him but maybe possibly do know him because he's kind of pretty renowned he's definitely he's from my hometown so that's why i keep saying that he's maybe small town but maybe he's not and your hometown is and my hometown is in sebring florida which is a tiny little town you probably have no idea where it's at but i'm just gonna say it's right by that big lake in the middle of florida <laughs> lake of Okeechobee. lake of Okeechobee. really yeah i so, didn't know that so keith goodson is very good at doing large scale artwork and he's i'll throw up some of his pictures right here it's like murals and stuff, but he's really, really good at painting. And not to mention just painting, he likes using like warm colors, like or, uh, oranges and yellows and like whites. And so he does like a lot of like spiritual stuff as well, which you know, you might have like angels and um, just like lights. And he does a lot of like hyper realism too with his paintings. It's all like oil paintings and stuff. Um, like with the side of Walgreens or the side of like a dentist's office or something like that. And it's just like massive beautiful pieces and uh 
he's got ones of Jesus and uh, like the lamb, the lion and the lamb, and stuff like that. It's oh, really, a good one. Was really, on the side really. Of a church, wasn't it? Yeah, and he also has them like where other churches buy his stuff. So it's kind of cool to think that this, you know, there's like so many different elements of artwork, and that particular one or that particular guy, Keith Goodson is really, really good at doing stuff like that. So, number five. Number five, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna choose Happy D Artist. I like Happy D Artist a lot. There's she no does. one happier. There's no one happier. Um, she's a really great artist. Uh, a lot of her pieces are oil-based. Um, they're very colorful, very beautiful pieces. Trippy. Yeah. <laughs> I she guess that's a good word. The they're, stuff. they're trippy. Um, they have bright pinks, fluorescents, yellows, and stars, and galaxies. They're just, yeah, if, they're if, you, if you like work like that, definitely her. Definitely her. They're very beautiful, soft, um, fantasy, I guess, oriented. They got girls with flowers in their hair or heads with, made out of flowers. They're, they're very beautiful pieces, and you should check her out as well. She has her own YouTube channel. Um, she does YouTube videos all the time. Um, she's a very active artist. I know that a lot of times there are a lot of artists that don't post videos or don't do things or are not active in the community, so you can see what they do, see how they do, but she is, and she's she's a very good artist. Yeah. So you should check her out. We'll put her stuff up as well. Oh, yeah. Number six, Camilla D. Erico. Erico. Is Camilla de Erico. Camilla de Erico. We actually have her book. Yeah. So we're a fan of. Super dope artist. Like I'll put up some of her artwork as well. But she does like a lot of artwork where, like she draws like these little cute little Chibli big type, eyed, big eyed, big headed anime characters. But at the same time, she also like puts a lot of things like in their hair. So like, like tigers and rainbows. Yeah, or make a big old octopus on top of your head with paint. tentacles and. It's very cool. Very soft. Very cool. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. I mean, definitely colorful, but definitely pastelish. If you yeah, like more yeah, yeah. a pastel feel, she's definitely yeah, the, very powerful the artist for that. Very soft, and then she uses like acrylic on wood. It seems like on most of her stuff. I mean, I've seen some of her stuff where she doesn't do it on wood, but it seems like acrylic and wood really work really well, like hand in hand. The way that it just brings out the certain colors that you it's need. It's very pretty. Very pretty work. So it's a process too. In her book, she describes how she does it. Yeah. Um, it's very neat. Uh, you know, I'm not really too used to the girly side of art, so I usually do like the more <coughs> realism and stuff like that, or a concept art and stuff like that is more my style. There's but, nothing wrong with it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. So when I walk, when I read certain books like that, it really kind of brings you into another dimension of art. And it's kind of cool to know there's so many different varieties and styles. So definitely check that person out. Number seven! <laughs> Wendy Ortiz. Wendy Ortiz. I love Wendy Ortiz. Wendy Ortiz, her work is just amazing. Phenomenal! I, you know what? I can tell she <laughs> likes some of the same things that I like based on like her um, oops, art pieces and stuff. She does uh, a lot of paintings. Uh, I've seen one of Matthew McConaughey. Um, also, um, Leon the, the Professional, one of my favorite movies as well. She does. That was a good movie. Yeah, that was a good movie. Um, but she does a lot of female paintings as well. Very, very cool pieces. Um, she has a lot of skulls. It's a lot of dark art. I love her art. Very large scale too sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but she does a lot of cool things. I've seen her paint on a guitar. Um, on the... Uh painter's palette thing oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah that was cool too she does a yeah. lot of cool stuff yeah um very cool you have to check her out she's also on society six i know she sells a lot of her work on that as well mm -hmm. so you should definitely check her out if you want any prints or originals you can buy those from her we'll put her information up as well very very cool and she's very pretty too just to throw that out there she's very pretty <laughs> everyone's so pretty <laughs> everyone's so pretty it's like, i think everybody's pretty but that's okay um, I mean, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, it is a good thing. Okay. Good thing. okay that's um, number eight. Um, Jacqueline de Leon. Sure. I love yeah. Jacqueline de Leon. Jacqueline de Leon. I love her work. She, she does a lot of different things. She, I mean, she's done art for Sims. She's the video game. She's done art for, um. That was pretty cool. That it's was. Sponsored by Sims. That was really cool. I thought that was the coolest thing. I'm not even going to lie. That made me go out and yeah. get the game. I yeah. wanted that so bad just so I could create a garden. Yeah, like she created, like, a, was it a female character of herself? 
as a sim. I think it was based on herself or yeah. something. And then they put like the little green diamond over the top. Yeah, it was so cool. It was so, it was, so cool. it was so it just made me want that game. Like I love it. Yeah, but we got the game. Yeah, we got the and game. And we've been building nonstop. But um <laughs> <laughs> but, Sims life. Yeah. Sims life. But um in all seriousness. Uh I love her work, very colorful as well. She does a lot of urban base pieces, natural, um, earthy, very earthy. She likes those things. Um, there was a piece that she did, I guess, I believe for a gallery where she drew um, an image of a person in the bathtub. I, I love that video. It's one of my favorite videos. Anytime I, to be quite honest, if I want to relax or something, I will watch that video. I love her videos. She always posts. She's a very active artist, too. I just I just love her stuff. She does a lot of witches, a lot of uh, female characters with tattoos. She also does a lot of um, women of color, which I actually like. I yeah, know you don't really see too much. Of yeah, that. you don't really see too much of that, but I actually love that she does a lot of her characters in the same skin tone as me. Mm -hmm. You know, being a mixed person, you know, I really I rarely see that, and I yeah. I absolutely love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Definitely cool. Uh, we're on nine, right? Yeah, nine. All right, nine would have to be Noah Bradley, which is a guy who founded a thing called Art Camp, and he's really renowned, like, renowned, <laughs> renowned <laughs> on, uh, renowned, renowned, <laughs> renowned, yeah, renowned, on, world renowned, world renowned, okay, renowned. let's choose, <laughs> so he's really big on a thing called Reddit, on, uh, on the internet and everything, Reddit, Reddit, yeah, and he goes ahead and he writes a lot inside of his comments and stuff, but he also posts a lot of his artwork, and he's really known not only for starting Art Camp, but working with a thing called Magic the Gathering, which is MTG. And it's, it's a card game, very popular, all the way back since I think the early, almost 1980s, 1985 or something like that. I mean, those cards go way back. It's and before people, we were born. Yeah, so way before, no, not way before. But we're years. old. We're old, no, just kidding. We're not that old. Anyway, um, so, Magic the Gathering has these cards, and every one of those cards has an uh, actual like painting or a concept art on them. So the only way for you to actually be a part of Magic the Gathering is you've got to be a phenomenal artist to even reach a level for them to put it into the card game itself. So he's really known for doing stuff like that, landscapes and stuff like that, so I'll put up a lot of his stuff. He is super inspirational, inspirational to me. Um, I like the idea that you could um, just pretty much create your own world and create your own fantasy world, create your own items and objects and characters, creatures, monsters, stuff like that, anything like that. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's probably even created some characters for video games as well, popular video games, because his art is just that good. <laughs> like, he is stupid good. So you guys can hopefully get inspired off his stuff, like I did. But, here we go, last one. Number Last but not least. <laughs> Um, let's see, this was tough. I mean, I have a lot of favorite artists, and there's a lot of people out there that I love to watch as far as art goes, but, you know, this was a tough list. I know that we'll make more lists in the future, yeah, add yeah. more people. Um, if you want to be on our list, you know, let us know. We'll, we'll help definitely promote. check out your stuff, too. We're also, we're always about promoting, you know, helping out the little artists like ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, number 10, mm -hmm. without further ado, I would have to say... J A W Cooper. She is my favorite artist in the whole Cookie entire Cooper. in the whole entire bah, world. Bah, bah. Yeah. I probably said that for every artist, but hey. <laughs> well, everyone's good in like their own way. So yeah, like, everybody's good in their own tough. way. Different. I love different things, but her stuff is different. Yeah. She doesn't have a lot of videos where you can see how she does it. Besides her Instagram, where she does post things, where she does draw, but she has a a set of three books out right now you want to go check those out i want to buy them out i want to buy them myself so mm -hmm. i'm preparing to do that um her stuff is so creative i have never in my life seen any kind of creativity come out of somebody um she does these cool things where she draws an animal and then like draws kind of. the reverse side of it as a person so it's like a mirror image I, it's hard to explain, but you have to check it out. It's yeah. I will put a picture of it up above, but it it's just so creative. I love her style. Mm -hmm. I love the way that she exaggerates um, an animal's 
features or our humans features I, I just love that extra exaggeration without it being too over the top or right. cartoony but um she has very beautiful pieces as well very colorful but very subtle at the same time yeah. um i just I, and it's very dark mm -hmm. in its own way it is very colorful very bright but it's very dark and i love it love it love it absolutely love it and who is that again uh j w cooper j w cooper j a w j a w sorry my cooper can't talk sometimes <laughs> but cool, yes cool. very good artist she's freaking awesome i almost cursed but <laughs> <laughs> she's she's freaking well, awesome, awesome. <laughs> she's awesome yeah. she's awesome nice, check her out nice. we'll put her stuff up above yeah um again if you want to see more videos like this if you if you want to see us do another yeah. list of our top 10 and please the, send in your stuff i put it in the about section uh on the steel art studios at gmail.com if you want to like just get yeah, to know, if you comment below, an like, whatever is easy. Yeah, if you want to do an interview with us, if you want to tell us about your work, let us know. Hit us up. We'll, we'll be definitely be open about it. Yeah, definitely. So and we'll be know. completely real with you. That's mm -hmm. the other thing. I'm not, we're not going to sugarcoat it. We've already seen the worst and we've seen the best. And we you know, we've got to be real with it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be, let people just draw stick figures and think they're... <laughs> well, so stick figures are cool, too. Yeah, you're right. So anyways, uh, yeah, like... The, what is it? Like yeah. and subscribe? Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our next video. Follow us on Follow Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. At Steel Art Studios and at TC Lauderdale on yes. Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. So it's been an artist's life. So we'll see you on the next video. Peace out. <laughs>